Now to this, uh, security assistance from the U.S. is slowly inching its way to Israel as the Defense Department tries to boost deterrence efforts there in the region. So far, the Pentagon has completed five assistance missions to Israel in the wake of those deadly Hamas attacks. And now a Marine unit is moving into the region with more forces on alert. CBS News national security correspondent David Martin joins us now from the Pentagon to speak about all the latest on this. David, great to have you. Uh, as we just yeah. mentioned, a U.S. Marine unit's heading to the Middle East. We've learned an additional 2,000 troops are on what's described as heightened alert. Talk to us about what that means and what role um, they all may play. Well, let's uh, talk first about the Marines. Uh, the Marines right now, they number about 23, 2,400 are in two uh, different locations. Some of them are on, on board ships in the Red Sea, uh, and others are on a ship that is in the Western Med. Now, the ship in the Western Mediterranean is heading east toward Israel. The two ships that are in the uh, Red Sea have not yet received an order to transit the uh, Suez Canal, which, of course, they have to do before uh, they can reach the uh, Eastern Med. If they receive that order, and if all three of those ships uh, arrive in the Eastern Mediterranean, uh, that would comprise a uh, force with considerable firepower. They have, among other things, uh, about a half dozen attack jets, and they even have some of those uh, HIMARS uh, long-range rockets that we've heard so much about in uh, in Ukraine. So they're. They're a, uh, meant to be a fighting force. However, the U.S. has uh, said it has no intention of putting combat troops in on the ground in Israel. So uh, the most likely mission for these Marines would be the evacuation of American civilians, uh, either from Israel or from Lebanon. Then there's a whole separate group of another 2,000 troops. Uh, based at a bunch of different locations uh, around the world, which have been put on 24-hour alert. In other words, be ready to uh, take off for the Middle East within 24 hours. And they include, uh, among other things, air defense units. Those, those would be uh, the Patriot uh, anti-aircraft missile batteries that we've heard so much about. Uh, they could obviously be uh, sent into Israel uh, to improve uh, or uh, create another layer of air defense for Israel. Uh, hmm. They have not yet received their deployment orders, but uh, all, of, all of those troops, the Marines and these other uh, units, are standing by waiting for orders. And it's significant, David, because all of this is a strategic realignment and rearranging of U.S. assets that takes time. It will take many days, I think maybe even a week or so, for some of these massive aircraft carriers to get to where they need to be. The Pentagon emphasizes this is about deterrence, preventing outside actors from escalating the war between Israel and Hamas <clears throat> in Gaza um, or Islamic Jihad uh, from that hospital attack. But who are the key players, the biggest players the U.S. would be concerned about when it comes to deterrence? As you kind of outline the eastern the, the east Mediterranean and the Red Sea, you know, we can see Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Iran is much further away, but you also have Syria. Who are the key players the U.S. is worried about? The two biggest players are Iran and Hezbollah, the terrorist group that is based in Lebanon and on Israel's northern border. Um, they have ballistic missiles capable of striking Israel. And ballistic missiles are very different from these rockets that we've seen uh, fired out of, of Gaza. They, uh, ballistic missiles carry warheads of up to 1,000 to 2,000 uh, pounds, so they can do significant damage. Now, Israel has its own air defense. Um, which we've seen part of with the Iron Dome, which has shot down the, uh, the rockets. But the Iron Dome doesn't work against ballistic missiles. They have other defenses for that. But part of the reason that aircraft carrier strike group is off the coast of Israel is because it has, along with the aircraft carrier, it has escort ships that are specifically designed for ballistic missile defense. 
And if you look at a map, you can see that a, a ship uh, off the coast of Israel uh, would have a very good uh, shot at an incoming uh, ballistic missile from Iran. So they are there uh, to help uh, Israel with its air defense. Now, so far, um, all we've seen from Iran is, is rhetoric, and what we've seen from Hezbollah in Lebanon is some cross-border shelling, but uh, nothing uh, like they're capable of. Mm -hmm. This morning, there was a drone attack against a base in Iraq where U.S. troops are located, uh, almost certainly conducted by an Iranian-backed militia in Iraq. Uh, those drones were intercepted, and no one was hurt. But if, if, a, if an American soldier in Iraq is killed by a, uh, a rocket attack or a drone attack from an Iranian-backed militia, that will significantly up the ante. That's right. All of this carries the potential to escalate quite quickly and draw the United States in. Uh, our national security correspondent, David Martin, we appreciate that comprehensive update. Sure thing.